Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we are on season two of Stranger Things. Uh, the first chapter is called Mad Max, so um, we left off with um, Will at the end had a coughing spell and coughed up a monstrous loogie thingy into the drain. Um, so this story wasn't over. So we're going to see where, uh, where this leads and, um, what's happened to our characters since the last, uh, episode. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. October 28, 1984. So that's almost a year since all this other stuff happened. Yeah. Go, 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 go! kids <laughs> grown up to be bank robbers. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen them before. So they've created the wrong with you, more Alex? of these people. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> oh wow, there's nothing there. So she made him see that? <gasps> She's number eight. Ooh. Okay. So there are more. A bitch. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Police chase right downtown Pittsburgh this evening. Please don't find witnesses. Stupid penny. Dusty, watch it. You're Mr. Mule. Can I please check on your questions? Dusty. Mom, oh, please. It's an emergency. Yeah. Yeah, I copy. What the hell are you doing on this channel? Nothing. Well, Lucas and I have six bucks total. What's your haul? Shit, I, I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? <laughs> Call Will. <laughs> oh. He's gonna steal from his sister's piggy bank. What the hell are you doing? I'll pay you back. Bye. 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 Get back hey. here. Don't run into the house. What is going on? Good 80s music. Okay, so I'm gonna be here for two hours. That's nine o'clock on the dot, okay? Okay, okay. And if anything happens, if you need to come home, just ask them to use their phone to call home. Okay, don't, don't walk or bike home. I know. Okay, She's sweetie. so paranoid. Um, I have to go. Have fun. It's not too late. How can he when he's being watched like that? But I don't blame her. She's sorry. You know, whatever. I'm still top on centipede and dig done. You sure about that? Sure about what? No! 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 Who's Mad Max? Better than you. Is it you? <laughs> you know I despise Dig Dug. Then who is it? Yes, yeah, spell it, Keith. You want information? And I need something in return. No! Ah! No! No, 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 no way! You're not getting a date with her. Mike, come on, just get him the date. I'm not prostituting my sister! Exactly! No, no, don't get him the date. You know what? He's 
gonna spread his nasty ass rash to your whole family. Acne isn't a rash and it isn't contagious, <laughs> you pre professor wasteoid. Oh, I'm a waste. Yeah, okay. Um, you wouldn't like on a date with you. You make like what? Like two fifty an hour? <laughs> two fifty an hour. <laughs> Uh oh. Hey. hey guys, do you see the. He's in the upside down. <laughs> Crap. I just, I needed some air. Come on, you're up on Dig Duck. Oh, why did they make fun of him? He's not nice. Hi. Dustin, drum roll. Class, please welcome, all the way from sunny California, the latest passenger to join us on our curiosity voyage, Maxine. It's Max. Sorry? Nobody calls me Maxine. It's Max. Ah, Wilkes. Uh -huh. All aboard, Max. <laughs> Bob. Mm. Bob, I have to get back to work. No, I'm sorry. I just I can't stop thinking about you. It's crazy. I feel like a teenager. Me too. You know, in high school, you didn't know who I was. <laughs> Bob. Mm -hmm. Got her boyfriend, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. She looks happy. A green one. Tell Jonathan not to pick anything scary. I hate scary movies. Pick your own pumpkins. Saying this was all fine yesterday. Fine. Oh my God. I'm surprised when you're cheap, you should have seen him. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out what happened. And then I remembered Eugene. What about him? They've been complaining about me to just about anyone that'll listen. Why is that? Well, he started this pick your pumpkin thing, acted like it was trademarked. I said, hire yourself a damn lawyer. See how far that gets you. You're, you're telling me that nice old Eugene. Came out here he after the all those pumps. Doused your field with poison. You got somebody working in that field? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, well, am I gonna jump again? I jumped so much on this show. Awesome. Your mother's here. He feels so like everybody's staring at him. You guys think he's okay? He's always weird when he has to go in. I don't know. He's going quiet to what? Today. He's always quiet. Where's he going into? Hey, I'm gonna be there the whole time. So it's gonna be okay. Okay? Okay. He's gotta be traumatized from that. Even though it's not real, but. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Oh, no, they're going into the place? Oh, my God. Why are you still dealing with these people? It's like an experiment that they're tracking. 
and drawn blood? No way. Oh, you don't stick that in like that. Give me a break. Oh, that was in the 80s when they... Maybe, maybe they did have metal syringes back then. That's the nurse in me looking at that stuff. And then, and then they just weren't, and I was back there again. To the upside down. No, I, so what happened next? I heard this noise, and, and so I went outside, and it was worse. How was worse? There was this storm. Okay. So how did you feel when you saw the storm? I felt scared. Frozen. I felt I felt this evil like like it was looking at me. It was evil. Well, <clears throat> what do you think the evil wanted? To kill. To kill you? Not me. Everyone else. Ooh. Hmm. We're gonna get through this. I just, I need you to realize <laughs> I'm on your side. Liar. I need you to trust me. I don't believe that. Trust me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know, but, you know, university gives out a degree. This guy's got it. Hmm. Our radio, she comes. Oh, uh, yeah, nice try. You just want me out of here so you can make your move. Oh, because you're such a threat. That's right. She will not be able to resist these pearls. Yeah. He <laughs> got Ten o'clock. What? Ten o'clock. Yep, that's her. Susan Carter. She's Mad Max. Who oh, are you there? L? It's me. It's Mike. It's day 352, 7.40 p.m. Oh, that's what he does. That's how she hears. If you're out there, say something. Or give me a sign. I won't even, I won't even say anything. Just, I want to know if you're okay. What? Mike? Oh, hello, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dustin. What are you doing on this channel again? I've been trying to reach you all day. We were right. Max is Mad Max. Yeah, I'm busy. But. <laughs> Oh, trip bar. <laughs> I guess this is where he lives. Must be. Who's he living with? That girl he was sleeping with before. Beer and cigarettes. Good bread or good dinner. Hey, what are we talk about? No signal. What? No signal. It's eight one five. You're late. Yeah, I lost track of time. I'll, I'll signal next time. All right. Uh, and it's, uh, it's 8.15, it's not 8.15. No way! 8.15. No way! Now what are we talking about? 
He's got her up there in, the, in his cabin? Then dessert. What? Always. That's a rule. Yeah. What? Yes. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Well, I'm glad she's alive. That freaked me out. I did not expect that. At all. Wow. So, we see Will going through a lot of problems and changes and having bad dreams and seeing things and they're taking him to the same lab where they did all those experiments and they believe that they're on the up and up. Mm -mm. That's just stupid. Um, and then um, um, you know, Will is Will's uh, got a lot, yeah. And that's not really even therapy what that guy was doing. So let's get over to the next one and we'll see what's going on. But this is going to be interesting. L is still there, and at the beginning of this, there was another one that had number eight. So there's we don't know how many of these people there are. So let's get going, and we're gonna run and try and get uh, uh, episode chapter two done. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.